Hello Aries and welcome to Soul Sundays. Aries, it's a quick three card spread for your week ahead. I'm going to draw for you three cards from the tarot and two oracle cards, one for your relationship vibe for the week and one for your health. But because it's an eclipse and I'm doing this reading for you at the beginning of the week with an eclipse, I've decided to draw for you an additional card um, from an oracle deck called the Chakra Mindset to help give you some ideas about where you need to also focus further for your body this week. So let's get started. Universe and Angels, Messages and Guides, my highest self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aries. Please show me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Spirit, can I please have three cards? What is going on for Aries this week? Hello, my love. So how are you feeling? You've got Mars back in your sign that popped back in, or oh, almost a jumper. Um, so there should be a lot of extra focus on career, on what you're building, um, and what you want to build in the world. You could just feel more energized, sleeping better. Um, I mentioned this in last week's tarot, but just be careful with your words and what you're saying this week, because um, it can be taken the wrong way. We have this ability. I'm an Aries rising and an Aries moon. We have this ability to be quite direct with our words and sometimes um, without giving a buffer, you know, and sometimes people take it a little bit personally when our intent is not that at all. So just be careful of your words this week. One card, please. Thank you. Right. So you've got the tower card in your area of relationship. So something breaking down so you can build a stronger foundation. This could be within yourself. And the um, beauty of this card is that it looks um, very much like it's to do with inner work. Let's draw for you a chakra card. Just adjust them so you can see them in the camera, okay? All right, one more. It's the most important message for Aries from this deck. Please show me. You can see Simba there in the frame. He's come to say hello. Say hello, Baba. He's like, who are you talking to? Nice. Okay. All right, so we start off with the seven of wands in reverse. So typically in the upright, this talks about an energy where you're having to be defensive, had you have your guard up, fight, right? And um, as an Aries, we know how to do that well. We know how to stand up for what we believe in, and I don't think we're backwards and coming forwards, right? But sometimes it's just as equally important to not challenge. It's actually quite an interesting aspect when we talk about the law of abundance and wanting to draw um, happiness to us. Sometimes it's better just to retreat and allow the energy to play out for itself. This week, your message is that, particularly when it comes to anything to do with work, career, um, try not to challenge the status quo this week, even if things get under your skin. The challenge here for you, if, if you are ready to step up to it, is actually to hold back. Because in, in doing so, you'll actually, um, it'll work in your favor. It's coupled with the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is, it represents um, large institutions, and this energy can be talking about um, marriage and your marriage to someone, your commitment to someone, or it could be talking about um, your commitment to your work, anything that's a large institution, a financial institution, it could be talking about a bank, it could be talking about the government, um, however it plays out to you, whatever is a large industry body. It was typically known in Tarot when it was drawn in Toth as being um, representation of the church. That's why it's drawn as the Hierophant. And depending on the cards around it, it has several different meanings. But for you, I think it's like, um, try not to challenge the authorities this week. Yeah? This is not the week to challenge. This is the week to observe for you. Um, it's come out with the, the Four of Cups. So it could be that you're frustrated in a situation, frustrated in work, within your work, feeling like the work that you're doing at the moment or the assignment that you're working on is beneath you. And it probably is, to be fair. It's probably a little bit of an insult to your intelligence. Um, or it could feel like that the relationship or the connection that you're in is not fulfilling. It's not giving you what you're after. I'm not seeing this so much around friendship. I'm not seeing this around health. I'm really seeing this either. It's either career versus love. It's one of the two. 
yeah, but definitely don't observe this week. Try and go with the status flow, um, the status quo, <laughs> what the status flow. I'm just inventing new sayings. Um, I'm going to read you this card for love. So it is um, called the rebuild card in this deck. And I think it's beautiful. It's like you can see that the foundation isn't quite solid. Um, but if you have a look, she's doing a lot of heart based stuff. So going within to figure out what do I actually need for this foundation to be solid, which I think is quite healthy. Um, and you've got the sun there shining light through. So giving you the light of a situation. I'm going to read it for you from the book and then I'll give you some more context. Um, the key words of this card are collapse, expose and create. And it talks about the dynamics of a relationship. And it says relationships can often be complicated. The longer you've been in a relationship, the more complex it can be. Relationships begin to grow in many layers, consisting of joys, sorrows, honesty and duplicity. As these layers build on top of each other, it becomes increasingly difficult to know what the core of the relationship is based on. What was once love may now appear to be merely tolerance or even worse. Even in good relationships, you may find yourself growing apart from the other person. In either case, the weight of these layers can cause a relationship to collapse. Now may be a good time to start afresh with one or more of your relationships. Peel off the layers one by one, cut away any pretense and see what may be revealed. Find the core of the relationship and decide if it's still what you want and what you find attractive. If so, then discard the old layers and consciously create a new commitment with this person or persons, one based on truth, honesty and love. Use the awareness gained by this exercise to steer the relationship on a clear, steady course. The same applies to rebuilding the relationship with yourself. Examine your many layers of joys and sorrows, successes and failures and think about how you're affecting your ability to love yourself and therefore to find love because true love comes from loving within, right? When you love yourself, when you're happy within your being, and you'll know this, you know, when everything seems to be vibing and it seems aligned for you and you're in a really good state of being, that's when you're going to attract love because people want to be part of it, right? They want to be like, wow, check out that vibe. I want in. Um, expose the false voices that you have within yourself that tell you you're, you're unworthy and silence them. When you do, your true value will be revealed. Rebuild your life around unconditional love for yourself and invite in unconditional love from others. Beautiful. This card can speak about a potential breakup. Um, so I just need to put that out there. Although I'm not seeing that in your tarot cards, I'm seeing more frustration and boredom. Um, and if you are in an existing relationship or a marriage, um, perhaps don't try and challenge your partner this week. Perhaps just try and sit back and observe. The key word for you here is to observe. Um, for your health, you've drawn the card of diet is important here. So I think um, it's relevant to actually have a look at what you're consuming. And when I say what you're consuming, I don't just mean by food. I mean in drinks. What are you actually putting into your body in terms of supplements? Are you eating enough nutritionist foods? You know, often we say to ourselves all the time, yeah, I eat enough vegetables, but are you really? If you sat down and actually had a look, could you make improved food choices? I think um, a message of this card is also saying that weight management is healthy. Healthy. So either some of you are under eating and not eating enough and not getting enough nutrients, or for some of you, you're overeating. Um, and also really pay attention to how your body feels after you eat certain foods. Um, just because we label eggs as healthy doesn't mean that everyone should eat them. In fact, it's quite the polar opposite. Eggs can have quite a dramatic effect on the stomach for quite a lot of people. And if you do some research into that, um, Anthony William is a guy that's amazing uh, in the States called The Medical Medium. He writes a whole list um, about the effects of the body of certain foods. And it's, uh, I think, understanding that foods aren't normally good or bad. It's just different for each body and for you you're quite sensitive to something that you're eating regularly within your diet I don't know why I got eggs but eggs is what have come through okay and lastly because it's an eclipse this week and the energy is going to really rock our soul if you don't know what I'm talking about have a quick um, snip at last week's reading because it will give you um, some more detail but because of that I've decided to draw you an extra card and the card that we have for you this week is this beautiful card, the acceptance. So this card says that in order to make any changes in life, you must first be open your eyes and heart to see the truth about current circumstances. Acceptance is one of the keys to fulfillment and success. Once you consciously see things as they are, you then have the ability to choose to accept or reject them. Isn't that the truth? 
Think about all the areas of your life. Are you fulfilled or are you settling? That's what this card is, right? This is the card of settling, of boredom, of not feeling fulfilled. If you are settling, it's time to take action and make life changes. Like little ripples in water, each thought and each step creates a current effect that directs the flow and energy with multiple connections and consequences. Accept that things are out of your control and focus on the things that you can affect. The more you focus on what you can change, the closer you come to living a life at cause rather than a reactive life directed by other people or circumstances. Whew, she's deep. <laughs> and there's um, a really beautiful mantra that says, I accept all that I am and all that I desire to be, which I think is gorgeous. Basically, it's saying accept your current situation, which is what I've told you, don't challenge it. But also know that you have the ability to change things if they don't serve you, right? So if you're not happy, don't settle for anything less than you deserve. But you need to start with accepting. You need to start with yourself first. So a week of observation and acceptance. I hope you found this reading helpful, Aries. It was a pleasure doing it for you. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know. And I'll be back with you next week. Take care.